Number 21. We've got a word problem here. Let's take a look. Emile's Bakery sells three sizes of coffee. Small, medium, large. Weird they don't have any venti, but let's move on. The matrices below show the number of each size of coffee sold on two days of a certain week and the price of each size. Of course, we have to take a look at the end of the question. What do they want to know? What is the total cost of all the coffee sold over these two days? Now, matrices can seem scary, but in reality, they're just ways to group numbers. We need to be able to make sure that we're combining the pieces together. Let's take a look at Monday first. On Monday, we sell 130 smalls, 150 mediums, and 120 larges. Well, we also know the price of the small, the medium, and the large. So we have 130 smalls, that's times $3 each, 150 mediums, that's times $4 each, and 120 larges times $5 each. We add them all together and we get $1,590. Are we done? No, we're not. Even though B is showing 1590, which is exactly the number we just calculated, that's for Monday only. Remember, the reason that we circle the full question is so that we actually answer what's being asked, not just a calculation we've made during the course of the problem. The question asked for two days, not one. So we've got to take a look at Tuesday also. On Tuesday, we see small, medium, and large again, 90, 100, and 70. We have to multiply that by the prices for the small, the medium, and the large. And what do we get? Another $1,020. Notice here that A says 1,020. If you chose A, it's because you only calculated Tuesday. If you chose B, it's because you only calculated Monday. But if we have all of our work shown and we compare it to what the question asks, we should be putting those two numbers together and getting $2,610, which is answer choice D.